everyone, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window. I am so excited. Today is our second day of our quilt alone called Common Bride. Did you make beautiful star from last week? They were so much fun. I hope those little tel templates from Common Bride have been helpful to you. So today I'm going to take that little star to another level by adding little four patches all the way around. Look how cute this looks. It's going to be so simple and we're taking one step at a time. So let's do it together. You know, as so many of you have joined us in and so many of you are putting your best work forward. But I just want to remind you, sometimes be kind to yourself. Your first star may be not perfect. The second one, a little bit better. But I can guarantee you, if you keep making them, you're going to achieve your best personal stars. And I hope you give yourself some grace, just like I do it. My first star wasn't so perfect, even that I have done that quilt once before. I had to refresh on my skills and get myself into the groove. But today, when I'm making my stars, they're getting better and better. And my four patches are just adding the cutest little glow all the way around. For anybody that's just joining us in, yes, you can get all the items on our website at Laundry Basket Quilts and they are the Common Bright pattern and we do have a kit called Common Bright. This kit includes all your dark fabrics and your light fabrics. It's a big, beautiful kit. Notice it, all those beautiful fabrics. And today we're going to be cutting from our light and our dark fabric, small strip. And from that strip, we're going to make little four patches. And later on, I show you how to set them into the star. Remember our templates, there are three pieces. I have pulled from my template set this little square. It's two inch by two inch and it is perfect for what we're doing right now to square our little four patches. Let me show you. So from your light and your dark fabrics, you're going to be cutting strips, light and dark strips. Um, please forgive my strips a little bit shorter because I want to fit them in the camera. You're going to go ahead, take your strips, place them right sides together just like this and you're gonna go ahead and sew it using a quarter inch seam allowance as soon as you finish sewing you're gonna go ahead and open this unit all of the direction and the steps uh, the uh, direction for this step is on your page three this is what we're doing a eight point star continues that's what we're doing it's on a page number three so once we go ahead and press our little uh, strips we're gonna go ahead and start cutting a unit following the directions in the pattern those units are cut at one and a quarter okay now you're going to get a bunch of, of those and you can make a choice. You can go ahead, make the same little four patches to go all the way around the star, just like my sample. Or you can go ahead and make a bunch of that are multicolors, just like my quilt right here on the wall. It's going to be up to you. I think doing the scrappy four patches and make, maybe keeping them in the same colors uh, but just different fabrics would be a really delightful idea. So go ahead, choose it for yourself and you can make some blocks. You have 25 blocks, the center block plus the 24 that goes around this border that you're going to be making. You can make some that are more organized and ones that are more scrappy. For our uh, video today, I match all of the four patches, but I can tell you, you cannot keep this bird in a cage. I'm going to spread my wings and fly with all the scraps for the rest of my stars. I'm maybe keeping them color coordinated, but I love 
love scrappy quilts so I'm gonna be looking for all different color combinations and taking one from one fabric set from another fabric set put them together just like this and start stitching right here as soon as I finish stitching I'm gonna go ahead open it up just like this and then open on the back look what I just did I made the cute little four patch and you can go ahead and use your little pressing tool or you can go ahead and iron it so that way your little four patch is nice and um, lace nice and flat to check your measurements make sure you put your little square right over and I can tell that I could do a little trimming and I'm gonna go ahead and trim on the side on the top it's not much it's not much but I love trimming because I like to make sure that all my units are perfect that way when I put this into my star is gonna be just beautiful so look not much but just enough to maybe not match for me perfectly so I'm gonna be making those and I need eight of them for one um, star and the next thing I'm gonna do and I have it all prepared for you guys I'm gonna select eight okay of four patches put them right next to me then I'm gonna go ahead take my star fold it in half gently I'm going to pull back right here okay and now do you remember that Y seam that it open up I'm gonna lay this flat so it just lays for me and wait I'm gonna go ahead and take one of my uh, little four patches I make sure that my darker color goes towards the point of the star I'm gonna position my four patch right here right here right over this little opening right there do you see so I want to match it up I'm matching with this side and this side and now I can go ahead where's my little square I thought I kept it nice and close I'm gonna put my square right over and I'm gonna mark my sewing lines again I have to stitch here I have to stitch up to here and I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna make sure that it's laying on my four patch stitch right here okay I have all my sewing points and they're so important and I'm gonna focus on just one side at a time from A to B from this point to this point okay I'm gonna make that points darker I can see them but I want to make sure that you guys can see it on this video okay so right there do you see those two points I'm only gonna worry about them and all that I'm gonna do is go ahead take my pin and I'm gonna pin this in place right there making sure that I am just at that fold just at that fold okay and right here I can also put a pin to hold this in place because I've done this already a few times I know that everything is laying down correctly if you questioning if this point is laying in the right spot so you can start sewing you can go ahead and flip this over take your diamond let me find it it's right here remember that first diamond a you can go ahead place that diamond right here and also mark this point and guess what look at this I was in the exact spot that I needed to be the point is right there and my pin was right there so I was correct but just to check you can do that that way you know when you start stitching you're gonna start stitching right at that point you're gonna lock your stitch okay you're gonna uh, lock your stitch and you can do this you can go forward go back one stitch and then keep going come to the pivot stop and back stitch to lock the stitch okay that's all that I'm asking you this I'm gonna fold this so you see the star is pulled back and it's folded down do not sew over the fold and can you see this if you cannot see it you can feel it 
where the bump is right here where I have this folded under this. So just so from here to here. Stop and back stitch and I did one for you guys so that way you get to see it. Look, I have it pinned exactly as I told you. I locked my seam, I sewed it. I'm gonna pull my pins, pull this pin because now look what I'm going to do. I'm gonna just focus on holding, do you see? I'm holding this diamond next to my forepatch and I'm taking this part, do you see? And moving out of my way. I move this out of my way and now I'm focusing that I have to sew from here to this point. Where is the point? Remember, we marked it for ourselves. I'm going to make it darker so that way you can see it. Right there. Remember, I used this little square. If you forgot to mark it, mark, mark again. Marked here and marked here because now again, you're just starting where you finish and you're going to come up to this point and stitch it. That's all that you have to do and take your time. Your first one or two are going to be a little awkward because it's like a brand new exercise. You really don't know what you're doing, but right after the second one, third one, with the help of the points, with your pins, you're going to be a pro in that because all that I have to do, put my pin down and I'm putting my pin on an angle. Did you notice this? I'm putting my pin on an angle because it is so much better for me when it, a machine comes up to this uh, area. So I start stitching right here. Do you see all of this is nicely folded? I'm going to start stitching right here. I'm going to come up, stop and back stitch. So right there, it's so nice because I can pull my pin and that way I'm not stitching over. I'm just going to pull it before my machine comes up to it, back stitch and done. And I know that after the first one, you're going to open it up and you're going to be so proud of yourself because all is going to be stitched and you're going to be now fo uh, focusing on the next one. You're going to go ahead, move this out of your way and go ahead, lay the next one and keep folding it. What I did is I sew those four first and then I move on to those four little units and look at every single one. I fold it, I pull the points, I match my side. If the seams were in a way, I push them out of the way because I'm focusing on just sewing point to point and I don't want to stitch over because I need to leave openings right here for my next step, what is going to be our week number three, because we're going to be adding beautiful diamonds all the way around this lovely star. And I know you can do it. Keep going, make your four patches. The most important thing that I notice it when you make your units, square them up, check if everything is fine, you can keep going. Maybe first or second star is having a little difficulty in the center and it start to buckle up a little bit in the center. Guess what? Press it beautifully and use one of those clappers to set it down on your ironing board and keep that heat on it so your star lays nice and flat. If you have any other problems, just email us. Make sure you send us pictures so that way I can take a peek and talk you through it. And we also going to have a wonderful live show on Friday where we can answer any of your questions. Now I'm going to flip this to the back. I have a little bit work to do. I have to take my scissors and make sure that all those little threads are nicely clean and do a little housekeeping, but also that I finger press all my um, seam allowances. Notice every star I have it pushed towards the four patch and a four patch towards the star and keep going like this to lay all my seams really, really nice. And I hope that you are doing the same thing and I'm going to get to see you next week and enjoy your beautiful results. Happy quilting and I can't wait to see you for Common Bright Quilt Alone week three next week.